Hello, uh, welcome to the VRES video where I show you the process I go through uh, when I have to learn a new track. Uh, Snetterton is coming up, uh, so the first, things, uh, the first thing I do is simply have a quick look at the track map. Um, I'm not paying too much attention to all of the radiuses and all, uh, that kind of thing. I simply want to know what type of corner is coming up once I start driving the track. Um, so once I've done that, uh, I will start doing some laps. Okay, now driving the track itself. I'm starting my outlap here, uh, and all I'm really worried about uh, is just to familiarize myself with the track. Uh, and really not try to make any big mistakes or end up off the track. Uh, as you will see, I'm going to take it really, really easy, especially on the brakes. Uh, just going to make sure I'm way under the limit, uh, so I have some room in case I judge a corner incorrectly and have to adjust my speed or uh, steering angle for that. So again, I'm just really trying to use this lap simply to learn the track as well as possible, or at least familiarize myself with the type of corners as good as possible. I'm really not trying to push at all, uh, I'm not trying to find the right corner speed yet. Uh, in the more simple corners, uh, I try to figure out the lines already of course, uh, but a lot of corners uh, appear to be slightly different or slightly slower maybe uh, than you initially uh, think. Now I know from the track map the next corner is a left-hander that follows into quite a tight right-hander. Uh, with that direction change, it will be very easy to just overstep the car, overstep the limit. Uh, also pick out the curbs, as you can see on the inside here. It's a very, very high curb, which you don't want to hit. It dips down here a bit through the bomb hole. And then it leads into a very long right-hander which then leads into the last corner, which look on the track map to be a bit similar as the corner at the end of the back straight. So you see the corner before it is a little bit longer. Uh, but on the inside there is just as big of a curve as there is on the end of the back straight. Now starting the first time lap, the first time you arrive at turn 1 at speed, compared to when you drive out of the pits, so still be very very cautious, try to pick out the line, Again, still very, very early on the brakes. I'm just really trying to pick out where I want to apex and how I want to exit. Again, I'm still under the limit, just to make sure I can try to stick to the right lines already, although at a lower speed. Uh, some corners are obviously easier than others. Uh, so it, it allows you to be a little bit quicker on the limit through some of those corners. Uh, but some of the more difficult corners maybe take a little bit more time. Uh, so always try to be a little bit more cautious through those type of turns. I see the corner here on the, on the back straight, which it leads onto a very long straight. So the exit will be very important. Uh, really deliberately try to pick out those points uh, where you want to put some more focus on compared to other places. And this is all quite tricky, so I'm trying to simply to not again not overshoot it. I take a little bit faster than during your outlap. And you slowly try to build up your speed. And this very long corner might be a little bit tricky to find the line through. Um, I'm really going to try to end up on the right hand side as much as possible before turning into the last corner. Uh, so I can carry the uh, maximum speed onto this straight. Again, starting the second time lap. I can take turn one a little bit faster now. Still easy on the brakes. Here in the brakes. You can see I'm trying to get the exit already as good as I can. Uh, but I'm still below 
my actual corner speed that I probably can do through there. And just to make sure, again, I'm not making mistakes. Uh, it's a fairly simple process, uh, learning a track. Um, but I always find that it's building up to it slowly. Um, makes me learn the track much faster uh, compared to how long it would take if I start attacking the tracks uh, straight out of the pits. try to push for is actually the exits and get the exits right. So again, not worried about my entry speed. I don't want to lose control. I don't want to miss the apex if possible. I really concentrate on driving as well as you can without actually pushing very hard. The lap times are not important right now. Uh, main focus is simply learning the track and knowing where to be or where not to be. Now every new lap that you, that you start you can just slowly try to edge more towards your limit. So I'm slightly too fast in right now. Turn two, try to apex it late. We have a straighter exit, maybe use a bit of an exit curve there. Turn three, this is quite long, quite easy to understeer. See, so you can run a little bit wide on an exit curve without actually getting an off track. It's a very tight hairpin here. See, I run a little bit out of room on the exit. Exit gently on the power there, and early on the power for the back straight. Maybe a little bit too early there, it already started to slowly oversteer. It's a little bit twitchy there. So really try to find the right speed through every corner. A little bit to the inside there, I was already touching the inside curb. Really slowly, step by step, try to build up to your speed. Last corner, good exit, as much speed on the straight as possible. And again, starting the next time lap. And you can slowly just repeat this process lap after lap, step by step, take it a little bit faster, uh, but I'm still breaking very very early. Uh, the braking is really the, the last thing uh, I try to put effort in. Uh, first I want to get the apex right and the exit right. Uh, once I get those right, you see I have too much on the stairs through there wide. Yeah, this exit is a lot tighter than it looks. It's a little bit faster now. A little bit later. And once you get comfortable with some of the brake points you can slowly uh, break a little bit later in some of the corners. Just make sure you don't break too late. It's very, very easy to do. Now you can start attacking the track right away, but uh, yeah, like I said, for me personally, uh, just building up to it slowly uh, is, is a much quicker process. So it was a little bit too fast through there. I'm trying to step out there slightly, uh, but it was still in control. Yeah, don't try to push too hard too early.
Now, looking at those labs in the analyzer, I've loaded up my session, my very first session at Snutterton, uh, which is the very same session that is uploaded to the IMSA data pack for the AMG. And you can see my fastest lap I'm in here in afternoon default weather is a 147.997. And I've selected that lap as my target lap as well. Now, when I scroll down to my very first stint of that session, uh, you can see that I was building up my speed really slowly. I'm basically going through the same process over and over again, just trying to get a little bit faster lap after lap. So what I will do is I will load up a lap one, and my very first lap, and compare that to the fastest lap of that session. Now looking at those laps, you can already see there's a significant time difference, uh, 5.3 seconds. Uh, but like I've explained, my main focus on the first few laps is simply learning the track and familiarizing myself with the type of corners. Now looking at turn one, you can see that I'm braking much earlier than I did on my fast lap. And I'm also carrying a lot less corner speed compared to the fast lap. Uh, all because I don't want to overshoot or make any big mistakes through there. And I really want to maximize my focus on getting the right line through the corner itself. And you will, you will see a really similar pattern through most of these corners. I'm generally always braking really early. You can see here in turn two as well. Again, braking really early, a little bit lighter. Uh, but you see the corner speed through the actual hairpin is a lot more similar uh, compared to some of the longer corners like turn one. Uh, now interesting is actually the fact that I'm slightly carrying too much speed already despite me taking it easy. As you can see in my fast lap, I was slowing it down to a little bit of a lower speed. I get the car to rotate and then get a straighter exit. And now this corner was a little bit tighter than I anticipated, which again quite clearly shows from this little bit of overspeed. Now turn three, also quite a long corner. And you will see similar as turn one, I'm carrying quite a bit less corner speed through the corner itself. And just trying to focus on getting the line right through there. But still, I'm braking nice and early just to make sure I'm not exceeding the limit anywhere. Now turn four, the second hairpin. Now this corner is a little less tight than turn two, uh, but at the same time it feels a little bit longer than turn two. Uh, and you will see a very similar thing again, braking nice and early, getting the speed off nice and early. And again, the mid corner speed through the hairpin is quite similar already. But here as well, just like turn two, I'm slightly over speeding in the center of the corner. Uh, and in turn two, it was simply because the corner was a little bit tighter than I anticipated. Turn four was a little bit longer than I anticipated. Now turn five, sort of a left hand kink. Now again, you see that I'm taking a lot less speed through the corner itself. I'm also using a little less of the track. And again, this is just to make sure I don't run off off the track on the outside or having to compromise uh, my braking into turn six by not being able to get back to the left hand side of the track early enough. Now six and seven. Now because of my cautious approach through turn five, you will see that I arrive at quite a lower speed compared to my fast lap, but despite that, I'm still slowing down early forward as well. And again, similar to the hairpins, I'm leading the speed off much earlier, but the actual mid corner speed is quite similar already. Now 
now turn eight. As you can see again, it's quite a long corner. And I'm also carrying less speed, just like the other uh, few corners there. Uh, again, breaking for it nice and early and really focusing on getting the line right. And this is quite an important corner as it leads onto the long straight. Uh, so you really want to pick out the line as well as you can. Now you see that I'm using a little less road again on exit. Uh, that's simply because I don't need to because I carry less speed through the corner. Now, and after the back straight you have 9 and 10. The very tricky left right. Again, a similar thing, I'm braking a lot earlier and also significantly lighter, just uh, making sure I'm not close to that limit yet. Uh, but at the same time, you will see, because it's such a tricky corner, I was still going in relatively fast compared to my fast lap. I see I'm actually going a little bit faster through here. Um, which either will compromise your exit out of the right-hander or it will compromise your line before the right-hander. Uh, but either way, it will uh, have an effect uh, from the apex onwards. So I was already pushing a little bit harder here than I initially wanted. Now turn 11. Uh, now the, the, the track dips down here a bit, so uh, there's quite some grip as soon as the car compresses. And as you can see in the very first lap, I was just way more gentle on my speed. Uh, braking much earlier for it, even a little bit harder. As opposed to some of the other corners where I brake earlier and lighter. And you can see I was just slowing down uh, way more than I needed. And that's just to make sure I don't end up running wide off the track. And again, you see I'm just trying to get the line right already. And then 12 and 13. So the long second to the last corner, which leads into the last corner. Now, like I mentioned during the laps as well, uh, it might be tricky to find the line here initially. As you can see, I was a little bit wider through here, and maybe a little bit tighter through here. So I might end up slightly out of position, but I was making sure I was going slow enough so I can actually adjust my line if needed. And just again trying to learn and familiarize myself with the actual corners. Because even my apex speed in the last corner uh, is still quite a bit lower, uh, but I try to get uh, as good of an exit as possible, and uh, so I can carry all the speed into the main straight.